what is up guys orbital pilot back here once again in the world of crossout now i am sorry to anybody uh who was expecting a war thunder video today uh, i'm sorry but i had to do another crossout video um so i was talking to a couple of my buddies today and uh you know they were they were talking about my last video and how my designs were really dumb because my gun was mounted like above the center of gravity and of course that made it less stable and <laughs> Well, it was also just extremely derpy all around, but I think I have beat it. So behind me is my latest build. Now, um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in a test drive, and we're going to see. Oh yes, this thing is stable. Watch this, guys. Boom. Oh, I like this. Look, let's let's watch that stableness again. All right. All right. Oh, okay, that that is that is great stuff, guys. Um, this is the thing of legends. I mean, this is probably the best vehicle ever created in Crossout. I mean, how could you not like this thing? I mean, it, it's great in in every single way that you look at. I mean, look look at the insane damage I'm doing to this poor car, uh, which is kind of me, you know. That's what I look like in battle, and that is just extremely amazing looking i mean look when i blow up all my parts are just gonna fall to the ground it leaves a nice little line showing in which direction i die now let's take this thing off a ramp because of course you're driving this long thing around you're gonna want to take it off ramps i mean actually i bet our wow look at that structural integrity look okay hold on look at our beautiful center of gravity so that's our xyz plane right there um, and look at how closely our cabin is mounted towards that. Look at how low our gun is mounted. Oh, wow, that is nice. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to get any more stable than this. This is probably... Oh, okay, I think I think I found a flaw in my plan. Um, yeah, this, this is a problem. Um, okay, yeah, this is bad. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. We can we can fix this. Uh, let, let's go over here, and um, let's let's get some medium wheels. Actually, no, let's get a small wheel. Uh, let's put it right there. Um, and this should actually that's the wrong wheel, but you know what? It will work. I mean, two different rims. I mean, this is a this is a battle car. No one cares what color your rims are. So let's try this again. Now it is much slower. I can already tell. Um, the gun is just terrible, but I mean, hey, you're not really going to be using this thing for shooting people. You're just going to, they're going to die when they look at you because you have this beast of a car. I mean, oh, wow. This thing just flies. I mean, okay, so let's try this again. Uh, so before we couldn't get up this hill. Now let's test it again. Okay. Wow. This is, oh, okay. Now it's the best vehicle ever created in cross out. How could you not like this thing? I mean, look look at that six-way steering. This is what legends are made out of, guys. I, I don't know what we're going to call this thing, but it needs to be uh, it needs to be called something epic because just the beauty in this is is insane. Okay, guys, so let, let's get back to reality. Um, obviously, this is not going to do a whole lot in battle, but it does. It, it is probably the most derpy thing in Crossout ever. Um, so, a couple of my friends, like I was saying before, in all serious manner, were talking about how the center of gravity should be lowered, uh, along with the 76mm, to actually create something viable. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to create something worth driving, um, and it's going to be fairly short. Now, it's, gonna, it's not going to be like pickup bed short. It is going to be a little bit longer, but it should work, nevertheless. Um... Okay, so we're, we're going to do three right now. Uh, actually, we're probably going to do four because I think that's the stock length. And right away, we're going to put our 76 millimeter on there. Now, I'm not sure, like I said before, if it's going to stay here. But, okay, not enough energy. Use it. Okay, wait, I think I have to actually install a cabin because I think the cabin is actually what stores... Um, the energy or what gives the amount of energy that you can use so I think we had to do that first so 76 millimeter okay that is terribly that is just 
Okay, perfect. So now, if we bring this back, and let's, let's bring it all the way forward, we can actually get rid of this. Now, yes, I am well aware that this looks incredibly derpy, but we're not going, we're not going for something, uh, you know, useful. No, instead, we're going for something that is totally, uh, we are going for something useful, um, but, you know, things that look good don't always don't always really work that well but things that sometimes look really derpy just work fantastic so I think this bed is unevenly placed and it is let's move that right there it looks slightly less derpy um, I'm gonna call this okay so we're actually gonna have to add another frame I'm gonna call this derp truck from now on and it will go on to be the thing that legends are made out of um, okay so let's let's test this let's let's see how this goes um, I can already tell it's much faster than the limousine the best car ever created um, actually that's not half bad if we okay so it does push the truck back quite a bit but it is stable when it fires um, that is nice let's let's add some weight and some armor to this thing it kinda looks like a I don't know, maybe like a, a pre-runner a little bit. Let's kind of center the frame more. Uh, let's add some armor. So I think we can still add quite a bit of stuff because we're using barely any frames. Uh, fence piece, tin cap, square cover, planks. Let's add some square covers. Um, we can literally add a ton of these, both for weight, which will make the car more steady, along with... Uh, you know, it'll, it will actually shoot back less when we fire stuff. So I'm actually going to put these over here. And I think, do we have two more of these? Is that what it said? So we may have to find something else. Uh, let's use this fence piece. Uh, wow, this is incredibly derpy looking. Um, maybe we can actually, didn't mean to do that. Maybe we can take these off. And just so that things match, use another fence piece and just put it right there there now I think yeah this I know people get incredibly mad when things don't match so I try my best to actually uh, make it look good now let's put a fender on this is th is there enough room okay so it's gonna hang off the edge but you know what that's just that's just how it was made you know don't don't bag on this thing um, okay so now that this is a good-looking truck so far I don't know about I don't know what you guys think. Now, van side, do I have a, a, what is the word that I'm looking for? I think, will this fit? Oh, it will. Um, let's, let's have it facing out. I don't think I have, oh, actually, yeah, that looks great. Um, okay, so this will go right there. Now, I don't know how many more actual, okay, the, this is going to go right here. I'm sorry guys, I know I uh, kind of skip around in my talking, but like I said before, these are all live commentaries and I'm not used to that at all. In fact, I've only done one other one, which was my last video. So if I sound a little bit weird, that's just because I am not used to these types of videos. Now I'm gonna add as much armor to this thing as possible. That's only because I want this thing to be tank status. And uh, you can't do that unless, you know, you have armor so that is what I'm going for now should we armor the gun or can you even armor the gun uh, ooh okay so we can we can do that and I hope we have enough parts boom okay so we're not gonna get shot from the air so I'm not really worried about that now fuel barrel radio eh, we don't need a okay what does this do transformation don't care Gives an instant impulse at mounting point, can accelerate a vehicle and even launch it upwards. Not interested in carjack, this is probably a necessary item. Um, can we put that in there? Like all the way in there? There we go. That is beautiful. Okay, so we have a carjack. Um, what else can we add for armor? We can add another... Ooh, actually, instead of, instead of these little derpy van sides we could put a van window okay yes now now we're getting fancy people are living in style in this world a van window and boom I think that's how I had it on the other one 
Sorry, just after seeing the comments on all these cross-up videos, I do not want to make my stuff uneven. Because people seem to have a, uh, a major meltdown about this stuff. Okay, so we know we're going to be ramming people. So let's hook these hatchets up to our frame. Just in case, you know, our frame doesn't bend, which I don't think is modeled in this game. But, you know, in real life, you don't want your frame bending. Um, van side. Let's do it. Can we add any more? I mean, we can add that. Uh, another van side. Boom. Why is that van window and that van window? You know, I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, van roof. You know what? Yeah, we kind of need... Maybe some more structural integrity. Okay, I've hit the maximum number of parts. Thank goodness, I was running out of things to put on there. Okay, so now we have this really beefy truck uh, with a low center of gravity. All right, let's see how the gun fires. Okay, so we get small movement backwards, but it is a 76 millimeter gun, so I think we should be able, you know, to expect that. Um, the gun is much much easier to oh okay that that is a major flaw in our plan um, hopefully that won't happen but I think as long as we, we you know don't get our kneel, wheels knocked off we should be fine uh, you do kind of have to like let this gun zoom in a little bit and our hatchets are doing damage so we have frontal armor uh, along with weapons we have a bunch of side paneling people are not going to have an easy time shooting through us. In fact, let's go ahead and let's spawn in some enemies um, and let's see how they do against us. Now, actually these guys aren't that bad. And like I said before, this... Whoa, I, okay, I don't know what that was. Um, this side panel armoring is quite heavy. So, along with... Okay, boom. Okay, 215 damage. Alright, so we are much, much more able to get our guns on target, oh, 250, wow, okay, yeah, this, this is much, much better. Now, of course, we are going to actually have teammates in the real game, so this is not going to happen as much. We're not going to be facing three people normally. Um, so let's go ahead, let's pretend I never died right there, and let's go to battle. So get the cannon, why not, level five. So these are going to be pretty high tier things. Um, but we All right, guys, so we're back. Sorry for the... Uh, the weird kind of hiccup, I know I probably just said that and you're like, you weren't really gone. Um, but for some weird reason, the sound recording kind of cut out. And uh, I wasn't going to put that online because I like quality. Uh, so we're in a game, Benny Gods 22. Okay, so let's see what he's rocking. He's rocking, I don't know what that even is actually. Maybe a 20 millimeter? Excuse my uh, noobness in this game, guys. Uh, it also looks like he has some boosters. Um, but we should, we should be able to take him out. Um, actually, it looks like he quit for some weird reason. Okay. Maybe we, uh, won't be able to find anybody online. Okay, no, actually, we will have two non-AIs, and we have three. So, it should be a fairly close game, and as long as I stay back, use that frontal armor. Now, I can't angle my armor like I would a tank, but I can angle it up front, which should be enough armor. I would like more armor up in the front, though, if I was going to use this thing as kind of my full-on vehicle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to sit here, and I know, uh, I can almost guarantee someone will be coming through. Ooh, 208 damage right off the bat. It's Adam. Now, it is an AI, um, but you know what? I don't really care. So, Ethan. Oh, just shot my buddy there. Sorry, bro. So, yeah, you have to kind of wait for the actual gun to kind of lock in, which I think is stupid, but it is for a good purpose. I mean, because then you don't have to worry about range, which is really, really nice. Okay, so, so far this is working ten times better than... Um, the actual limousine. I mean, this is probably more stable, it's more accurate, and it's easier to traverse the terrain. You know, instead of having a 50-foot vehicle, I have a 20-foot a vehicle. And for some weird reason, it looks like all of their players, um, oh no, these people are, 
the kind of people that go and capture your base. Dude, come on, let's just fight. I don't even know where our base is. Oh, okay, here it is. So 53, you do have, it's kind of like War Thunder, and that you have to kind of cap the zones. Um, okay, so, ooh, a real, a real player. Boom, 135 damage. Okay, 142 damage. This guy is getting toasted by us. Bam. 53 damage. And this should be the last of him. 55 damage. Nice. So we got a real player kill. Our teammate is shooting at us. Oh, no. That's uh, Claudia. So... Screw you, Claudia. But we could run into him, too. But don't forget that we do have those kind of spiky things up front. And our dude needs to, like, get out of our way. That way we can actually do some damage here because he is he is pretty messed up. And uh, he, you know, shouldn't be driving without two wheels. That's not really safe, bro. You should uh, kind of focus on getting your wheels back, you know. Even, even if you have to put some weird rims that don't match, I highly recommend wheels on a vehicle. Uh, that way that doesn't happen. Okay, so we have Dame Klesse, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, Ethan and Adam and Nicholas. Now I notice a little bit of stuttering going on. I'm not it's not my recording software. I am okay. Ooh. Oh, I have zero rounds left. Okay, I didn't know there was an ammo limit in this game. Um let's run into him at full speed. Oh, okay, unless we get defeated. I don't know how that happened. Time is out. Enemies had more success. Okay. So what I'm gathering from this vehicle so far is that the actual the actual gun is uh, much better equipped on, you know, the actual part of the pickup truck. Um, so, I know people that I was talking to today about this. I know if you're saying, you know, I, I was right. Um, it's This vehicle is infinitely better. Uh, because I can actually change the pitch of the vehicle, I'm much, much more easy to get shots on. The vehicle is much, much more armored, which is always a plus. And we do have what looks like to be three, yeah, three full-on real players. So we might get killed this match because um, in a game like this where barely any people are playing, one person that's not an AI can make a massive difference. So I may try to sit back and snipe while they kind of take pot shots at the AI. Um, okay, so I see one in the background. I, Emily, you guys are about to get slaughtered. Okay, sorry if I'm being quiet, guys. I'm just focusing. Oh, God. That is bad. I didn't think anybody would follow us up here. Okay, this is why I'm glad I installed the car jack. Press R to flip. Okay, so I'm going to make him come down here and fight fight on my own terms. Okay, so he's right behind me. I This guy probably has a machine gun, too, so I need to get my gun ready um, to fire. So I think this is probably the most likely case right here. Oh, and here come a bunch more people. Let's see if I can get a shot on them. Beautiful. So without that extra wheel, the truck does knock back quite a bit. Um, but of course, I mean, that that's without a wheel, so that's to be expected. Now, no one on their team has died, and Sandra has died on our team. That's never a good... Okay, so the actual velocity of this gun is is lacking quite badly um and i think they're about to win because they're assaulting something maybe i can go and find somebody take a couple pot shots so the weakest part on this vehicle seems to be its wheels uh which is kind of sad because that those are much harder to armor um i can barely drive straight okay Here's the dude that took a pot shot at us, I believe. Boom! Screw you, bro. Okay, now AI are quite deadly in this game, but I think... Oh, come on. That, that is it not enough to take him out? Okay, bro. This is... I'm just going to drive right up next to him. Boom, 111 damage. So we're actually doing quite a bit of quite a bit of work with only uh, th 
three wheels. I would call this a win. The only annoying part about this whole gun is that you do have to wait for it to actually fire. Now, this seems to be actual internet lag, but it's not my internet lagging. Um, so maybe it's just beta servers. I don't know. Okay, so, so far the vehicle is not only better, but infinitely better than the limousine. I'm sad to say because I did want the limousine to work. Um, but this is obviously the much better machine. I would like to armor the wheels, so I might do an actual update video. Um, maybe I can find some fenders or some wheel wells. Something to put over those wheels because that is obviously the weak point of this vehicle. Now, as you can see, we were getting shot at a ton by machine guns. It really wasn't affecting us too much. Um, so... You're pretty heavily armored against machine guns. Uh, now, I did not see a 20mm cannon in there, so I'm not sure how it performs against that. Obviously, the 76mm did get a shot on us, um, but it didn't hurt the vehicle except for taking off the wheel, which, like I said, was obviously the weak part of this vehicle. Um, so, guys, if you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you thought about this vehicle down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.